Hi, this is Kanal Babu. Today I am discussing about how to install Microsoft SQL Server 2008. Whenever you want to install SQL Server 2008, you have to install two softwares. One is database server, other one is client application. This client application we are using is SQL Server Management Studio. The client application is used to interact with database server. So just I kept the, and the software requirements to install the uh, SQL Server is uh, RAM minimum RAM is 2 GB, hard disk minimum is 10 GB, the processor, dual core and above versions, the OS it may be Windows 7 or Windows 8 and IIS is also required. Right. So here I already kept one uh, CD. Right. Here you check. And here you can see a file called setup file. Just click on the setup file. Run as administrator. Right click, run as administrator. Because the only administrator will have the rights to install Visual Studio Editor or SQL Server. Just click on S button. Then check the checkbox. Don't show this message again. Run the program without getting help. Just click on continue. And there you can see installation. New SQL Server standalone installation. The time of installing SQL Server, we can connect to SQL Server by using two ways. One is by using Windows Authentication, and the other one is by using SQL Server Authentication. If you want to connect using the SQL Server Authentication, we need to set the username and password. I will show you that one, how to set the username and password. And just click on OK. It is telling that uh, please wait while the setup process the current operation. So here you just click on next button and select the checkbox, I accept the license terms, next button and click on install. So the installation is, process, is under process. So here after installing you must get all the status as passed pass and firewall windows firewall warning means it doesn't matter you don't need to concentrate on that click on next button and here check all the tick boxes click on select all click on next button and here you can select the default instance just don't delete it, click on next button click on next button and here select the button, use the same account for all the SQL server services and here select the drop down, select the uh, first one authority network services, just click on ok and here click on next button and here you, if you want to set you can connect to SQL Server database in two modes if you want to connect to SQL Server database using SQL Server authentication you have to select the mixed mode and here you can set the password I will set the password as ABC confirm password ABC and here click on add current user you can do password any password I am giving the password as ABC only three characters you can give the password. 
Right. The maximum length of password is only three characters. Again, click on add current user. Here you have to click on add current user whenever you want to add that one. Just click on next button, next button, next button. And here again click on next button. Click on install button. So it will install here, you no need to do anything. Just uh, wait until the installation is completed. So always when you want to install uh, Visual Studio Editor also, first we need to install SQL Server Management. This is a proper way to install the .NET softwares. First you have to install SQL Server Management Studio along with the database server. Then you have to install Visual Studio Editor. That is a proper way to install the software. Okay, at the time of installing password, the minimum characters must be 3. Maximum characters, there is no limit. You can keep uh, maximum characters. But the minimum characters must be 3. That you have to follow. So here it is not required to install defaulting services. You can neglect that one. Just click on next button. And you can close it. SQL Server 2008 is installed, completed with values, but still doesn't matter. Once let us check whether your SQL Server is installed or not. So here you can see SQL Server Management Studio. It was uh, installed successfully. Right? So here we are using SQL Server like a database engine. Server name is nothing but the name of your computer. Or you can give the IP address. Or you can give the local. Or simply you can give dot. So I am giving the server name as Sai. That is the name of the computer. Here you can see within the browse for more. There you can check. We can connect to SQL Server database in two ways. As I told by using Windows authentication, SQL Server authentication. I am logging with SQL Server authentication. Username is SA. Password is ABC. Click on connect. And the database server is also installed. If you want, you can just go to the run command prompt and type services.msc. Just there you click on what? OK button. Then your database server is available under services section. There you can see a tab called SQL Server. Is it clear? SQL Server, MS SQL Server. And the service is automatically running by home OS. So whenever you restart your system, automatically OS will run this SQL Server. Uh, database server and SQL Server Management Studio is a client application which is used to interact with what database server. Right? Thank you. And in the next video, I will try to uh, explain how to install Visual Studio Editor. Right? For more updates, you can log into my Facebook group www.facebook.com/group/worldup.net. Thank you. Have a nice day.